What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings, man. It's Mark the Messenger. We're back in another video. This one's gonna be a short video, but uh, it's been on my heart because I see this happening a lot, and a lot of people gotta stop doing this, man. I've been on this walk for about four or five years now, and I see this with a lot of people who are who are preaching the Bible, who are teaching the Bible, and it's time, guys, that we cleanse our heart. Maybe start fasting and praying more, especially if this is you, okay? Especially in the YouTube. You see this a lot, okay? This is in Philippians chapter 1, verse 15 to 18. It says, some indeed, pre I'll leave a verse right here on the screen too. Some indeed preach Christ, even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one that preached Christ of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What then, notwithstanding, every way wherewith in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and I then therein do rejoice yea and will rejoice okay so some people preach christ some people who call themselves christians or especially the hebrew israelites they're preaching with envy and strife to debate to argue to go back and forth they're not preaching to save a soul they're not preaching to plant a seed in someone it's just envy and strife to one up you okay and it says the the one preached christ of contention which means arguments okay we see that a lot, especially with the people of my community, the Hebrew, the Hebrews. They're always arguing, always debating. Not a lot of people are operating the spirit of love, you know, the Holy Spirit. And I understand, guys, that that word love is like being used as a weapon uh, to to justify sin, uh, to practice um, things like LG type of stuff, right? So, you know, use your wisdom when it comes to it. But always understand that. And I, I feel really bad for the sheep because a lot of sheep don't have discernment. So when they see someone preaching the Bible, envy and strife, they automatically assume, okay, this is, you know, this is a man or a woman, woman of God. And that, that preaching Christ of envy and strife, that's a, a religious spirit. That's the spirit that the Pharisees had, okay? The Pharisees, they when they were uh, trying to um, correct Christ or teach Christ, it was just at an envious strife. They had hate in their heart towards them. So make sure before you're preaching the Bible, before or if you're a content creator, or if you're going out in the streets, make sure what your, what spirit are you operating off, off of? Is it, you know, contention, the spirit of arguments, debates, or is it actually, you know, I'm trying to save a soul because God knows your hearts. And remember, the Bible does say if, I, if you don't have love, everything you're doing is in vain. You could give to the poor, you could preach, you could spend your, you could give your entire life preaching the gospel. But if you don't have love, it is all in vain. And so I just want to warn you guys, you don't want to be operating under that spirit, uh, having hate towards your brother or your sister. And that Pharisee spirit, it's even working through women. I see a lot of women under that spirit too, okay? So back then it was just, you know, the Pharisees who had and the scribes, and they were of, you know, my color. You know, the Hebrews were my skin color. But nowadays, that spirit, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what color you are, what nation you are. If you're uh, a man or a woman, it's, it's working through people. And you don't want to have that spirit under you because that you know being no one likes someone who's overly religious uh overly zealous uh well at least i can say for me at least i don't want to be around that type of spirit you know that type of spirit can't be taught can't be corrected uh it's, it's full of pride and arrogancy and the bible says to fear the lord is to hate evil and pride and arrogancy and the frow proud mouth do i hate okay so if you truly have the fear of god in you you're not going to operate under that type of demonic spirit because best believe it is a demonic spirit when you're when you're preaching christ with envy and strife in your heart like that's demonic bro because that should be love that should be you know now of course the truth might it sounds like hate to people who hate the truth so when you're preaching the truth people are going to see you know because every time i preach the truth too you have people saying like oh don't you have love like when i'm talking about the lg you know people want to say like oh you're supposed to preach and you know they, they the demons they try to use that against you so i'm not telling you to tickle people's ears not at all. I'm just saying, when you're preaching the gospel, you don't want to do it to be seen, you know, for vain glory, for clout. It should be simply to save a soul and to, and to help people. But nowadays, you know, it seems like you get more views uh, if you if you hate on someone. That's the time we're living in. And the love of many is waxing cold. And there's also another scripture I want to go over. It says in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 12, it says, Hatred stirs up strife, but love covered all sins. Okay, so when you have hate in your heart, that's why people who preach Christ, you know, envy and strife is because they have hate in their heart. It all starts in your heart. So make sure, you know, you could be doing good spiritually, right? You have, you know, I always do a spirit check, you know? The Bible says that you're supposed to examine yourself daily, self-reflection, you know, are you operating the fruits of the spirit? You know, what could you do better? And let's say if you are, you know, what could we do that's better? You know, um, put, you know, God, put in my heart what you want me to do. Maybe you want me to give more. 
Uh, maybe you want me to start preaching, you know, if you if you guys haven't preached yet. Or maybe you want me to do this and that and have the Holy Spirit lead you. Because best believe, if you're praying and asking God for guidance according to his will, the will of God, he will show you what to do. There's an airplane, so give me like five, ten seconds. Or more. So yeah, if you ask, if you ask God, if you ask God what you, according to his will, I promise y'all, he's going to answer because he wants you to do God's will. You know, the only way to have everlasting life, to, to abide forever, is by doing the will of God. Okay, and this is in um, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 22. It says, an, air, an angry man stirs up strife, and a furious man abound in transgression. Okay, so an angry man, you know, the Bible says we're not supposed to make friends with the angry person. The person's always yelling and screaming and arguing and always trying to debate. We're not supposed to be friends with those type of people, okay? It says an angry man stirs up strife, okay? So they like to argue, debate. I'm telling y'all, there's a lot of people who are who call themselves Christians or your average Hebrew Israelites who are operating under that spirit. And we don't want to, that's low vibrational, bro. We And even looking at things spiritually, that's low vibrational to be arguing all the time. But when you're truly spiritual, you can't be doing that because that drains you, bro. That's going to drain you of your energy. So these type of people who are doing that, they're spiritually dead. Don't be deceived just because they're giving you a couple of Bible verses. And that's why I say the sheep, y'all got to get better discernment. Y'all got to get start actually reading your Bible, applying it to your life, and getting close as you can to the shepherd. Because that's how you gain the Holy Spirit. You know, you being obedient, and God will increase your discernment. He'll increase your spiritual gifts. Becoming more spiritual, we got to give up this carnal man, the old man, and put and put in the new man, okay? The old man is full of deceitful lust and um, all the carnal stuff, right? So this is another verse I want to give you guys. This is in... Proverbs chapter 20, verse 3, it says, It is an honor for a man to keep some strife, but every fool will be meddling, okay? Those Pharisees who were puffed up in pride and arrogancy, self-righteousness, overzealous, overly religious, they knew all the they knew all the scriptures. That's why the Bible, Christ does say, hey, well, we should we should um, listen to them. But he says that they, they teach, but they don't do. They're hypocrites. That's what the Pharisees were, they're hypocrites. And I'll leave that verse somewhere up here. It's in Matthew chapter 23, verse 1 to 3. Okay, so he does say to listen to them because they do teach the truth, you know? They do tell you about God's laws. A lot of these Christian churches don't do that. You know, they, they tell you that the law is done away with, but the Bible says, uh, uh, what is sin? Sin is breaking God's laws. So when people are telling you that there's no laws and we could just live a lawless life, you know, that means there's no such thing as sin, which is not the truth. Okay, so, you know, I'll give them that, you know, they know the Bible and stuff like that, but they're operating under the, the wrong spirit. And like I said, a lot of Christians do it too, because it's a spirit. It's not a person. Back then it was just the Hebrews. Now you see it in any type of a nation. You see it. You see that spirit working through people. And it's just like, they, they don't even see that they're being deceived. Okay, we want to have love. We want to humble ourselves, most importantly, because God gives grace to the humble and he resists the proud. He resists those people who are self-righteous, arrogant, you know, and prideful. And um, there's another verse I want to go over. So it says that in Proverbs, last verse, uh, Proverbs chapter four, uh, 17, verse 14 says, the beginning of strife is as one who let out water, therefore leave off contention before it be meddled with. So to all you people, all you humble people who run into these type of spirits, because remember, we're dealing with spirits. We're not dealing with people. So when, you, when you're dealing with these type of spirits, okay, it's, the, it's best to walk away. And they're gonna, how the arrogant and prideful person works, they're going to feel puffed up because you walked away thinking that, you know, that they know, you know, that's, that's how it's going to be. But best believe the humble person will be justified. And then, you know, they're going to be brought down low. Okay, I'm telling you, this is how it works, okay? I'm telling you, they might, they might feel uh, uh, puffed up in pride. And then see, they, they better hope. Those type of people, they better hope and pray that God chastises them because God only chastises who he loves. So if God's not correcting those type of people and humbling them down, it's because they don't belong to God. So if you don't belong to the God, that means you belong to the devil. Simple. Jesus even told them, children of the devil, children of hell, snakes, vipers. Okay, that's who they belong to. So all you overly religious, overly zealous, uh, know-it-alls, you got to be humble. Okay, and like I said, for you guys who are new to the faith, you know, just start picking up your Bible, uh, you know, ask God and pray for discernment. And always understand when someone's operating under preaching the Bible with envy and strife in their hearts, run away, bro. Whether it's a church, a pastor, a street preacher, a YouTuber, I'm telling y'all is run away. So I hope you guys got edified with this video. It's Mark the Messenger. If you guys haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going live on Sunday night. If you guys want to tap in and join, it's going to be on my backup channel, Mark the Messenger Live. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll pin it in the comments below if you guys haven't already subscribed to that channel. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.